How are you, my friends? This is uh, review questions number two on double and half angle identities and trigonometric equations. Question number one, given cosecant of minus theta is equal to three over square root of five and theta greater than pi less than three pi over two, which is in quadrant three. Let's find the value of cosecant of two theta plus tan theta over two. So this is a double angle and half angle. Now given cosecant of minus theta, then we can find the reciprocal, which is sine of minus theta. It will be square root of five divided by three. Sine is an odd function, so I can take the minus out. So sine of theta becomes minus square root of five divided by three, which is y over r. Now, Theta given between pi and three pi over two, which is in quadrant three, this is four theta. So the sign here is minus and the cosine of theta also is minus. So we can find x by using x squared plus y squared is equal r squared, x will be minus two. So co cosine of theta is x over r, which is minus two over three. Now, to find cosecant of two theta, first we have to find sine of two theta, because that will be the reciprocal. Now, sine of two theta, two sine of theta, cosine of theta. Put the numbers there from here. It will be four square root of five over nine. Now, cosecant of two theta directly, we can find one over sine of two theta, which is nine over four square root of five. Multiply up and down by square root of five, you get nine square root of five divided by 20. Let's go to tan theta over two. There are three formulas for tan half angle. I have chosen one of them, sine theta divided by one plus cosine of theta. Sine of theta is there. Cosine of theta is minus two over three. When you simplify, please try to check this fractions here. It will be minus square root of five. So we need to add now cosecant of two theta. We have found here and tan of theta over two minus square root of five. Here the LCD is 20. So the final answer minus 11 square root of five divided by 20. Question number two says, solve the trigonometric equation sine of two theta minus cosine of theta is equal to zero. Please notice here there is no condition on theta given. So we have to find the general solution of this equation. I can start by writing the formula for sine two theta, which is two sine of theta cosine of theta minus cosine of theta is equal to zero. Just remember here, you cannot divide both sides by cosine of theta because we will be losing some solutions. So instead we take cosine of theta as a common factor. Inside we have two sine of theta minus one all is equal to zero. So cosine of theta is equal to zero or sine of theta is equal half. Now I can take this on the right side here. Cosine of theta is equal to zero. Then theta will be 90 plus two K pi and theta will be 270 plus two K pi. But I can join, combine these two together. I will write it as theta equals pi over two plus K pi. This will cover this and this. Now sine of theta is half. So the reference angle is pi over six. So it will be in quadrant one and in quadrant two. So pi over six is in quadrant one, pi minus pi over six, which would be five pi over six in quadrant two. So the, all the solutions will be theta is pi over six plus two k pi, and theta is equal five pi over six plus two k pi, and theta is pi over two plus k pi, where k is integer. Question number three says, find the sum of the solutions of the equation cosine of theta minus sine of theta is equal to square root of two times sine theta over two in the interval zero to two pi. So here we have to start solving here by squaring both sides because we have no formula like cosine of theta minus sine of theta. So we can square both sides here using this formula from the algebra course, a minus b squared, a squared minus two ab plus b squared. 
And then I replace also the formula for sine theta over two, which is plus or minus the square root of one minus cosine of theta all divided by two. When I square both sides, I will get cosine square of theta minus two cosine of theta sine of theta plus sine squared of theta is equal one minus cosine of theta. Remember there's a cancellation of the two here. Now cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta will be one, so I can cancel that. I bring minus cosine of theta on the other side here, it will be plus, so I take it common factor, cosine of theta into one minus two sine of theta. So cosine of theta will be zero or sine of theta will be half. Now we look at the condition here, zero to two pi. So cosine of theta is equal to zero. Theta will be pi over two and three pi over two. Sine of theta is half. So theta will be pi over six and five pi over six. So we have to check each proposed solution in the original equation. The complete check is on the next slide. You can check it. Now, after checking, we must have, let's see the rejected. Pi over two is rejected. Five pi over six is rejected. And three pi over two. Let's start here something. We must check these proposed solutions, pi over two, three pi over two, pi over six, five pi over six. Now we found that the first one here, pi over two and five pi over six are rejected and three pi over two, pi over six are accepted. The complete check, you can see it on the next slide. So the solution set will be only the accepted solutions, three pi over two, pi over six. And we need the sum, so we add, 3 pi over 2 plus pi over 6, the LCD will be 6. So I multiply here up and down by 3. 9 pi plus pi, 10 pi over 6, which is 5 pi over 3. And on this slide, please, you can see the checking. Each proposed solution in the original equation. Theta is equal pi over 2, you check that. Theta is equal 3 pi over 2, theta is equal pi over 6 theta is equal five pi over six. So after checking, these are rejected and these are accepted. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you guys for listening.